Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iDevice running iOS 7.1 all the way to iOS 7.1.2 on iPhone 5s, 5c, 5, 4s and 4. iPad Air, iPad Mini 1st and 2nd generation, iPad 4, iPad 3 and iPad 2 and iPod Touch 5th generation. Before we're gonna get started with the jailbreak process, I wanna let you know that if you update to iOS 7.1 and up through the air and not through iTunes itself, you will have to go back to iTunes, perform a backup to your iDevice and then restore it from there. After you did so, you can start the jailbreaking process. On your computer, launch your browser and go to en.pangu.io. You have the link in the description down below. Scroll down and choose between Mac and Windows. Download Pangu to your desktop. After you did so, connect your iDevice to your computer and then launch Pangu. Wait for Pangu to recognize your device and then click Jailbreak. Now, on your iDevice, go to Settings, click General, and scroll down. Click Date and Time, and switch Set Automatically to Off. Click on Today's Date, and change the date back to June 2nd, 2014, 6 p.m. Pangu will recognize the new date that you just set and the jailbreak process will start. Now, you will be told to click on the Pangu icon that been installed on your iDevice in order to complete the jailbreak process. After you clicked on the icon, the jailbreak process will continue. Your device will be rebooted and then you will be asked to unlock your device whenever the reboot process is finished. If iTunes pop out after the iDevice finish reboot himself, don't worry about it, you can stay in iTunes or just minimize it and go back to Pangu. Either way, that's gonna be just fine. Now you can unlock your device and it will reboot one more time. This step will finally jailbreak your device and you will get a message on the Pangu software saying done. Your iDevice is fully jailbroken and ready to use. Now you can unlock your device and you will see CD icon on your springboard. Disconnect your device from your computer and launch Cydia. Cydia will initiate first setup that will take approximately about 2 minutes. After the first setup was completed, you can relaunch Cydia and then you can use it as normal. There you go. Alright guys, please like the video and share it with your friends. If you have any questions, please let me know by leaving a comment in the comment box down below. Please click on the subscribe button to the right in order to subscribe to my channel because there is more great content on the way. Check my other tutorials over here down below 
and follow me on the social networks. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.